Learn welcome at 6 p.m. India time or 12.30 GMT and 5.30 in Pakistan where the opposition parties have said that they will join forces to feel their own candidate for Prime Minister in the Federal Legislature challenging former cricket star Imran Khan whose party won last week's general election. Now, Imran Khan's Pakistan Tehreek and Saaf party won 116 of the 272 seats in the National Assembly. The PTI, along with allied parties, is set to acquire a simple majority in the federal legislature with the support of Mutahida Kwami Movement Pakistan. Maryam Aurangzeb, the spokesperson of Nawaz Sharif's party, the PMLN, said that the opposition parties would vote together with some smaller parties against Khan's election as Prime Minister. The opposition parties on Thursday repeated the allegation that the country's powerful military rigged the 25 July election. Unanimously, all political parties present in the all-party conference rejected the results of election 2018 and we believe that uh, the mandate, the true mandate of people of Pakistan uh, is stolen and this was not a transparent election. Free and fair field was not provided to the political parties and the role of election commission, the incompetency of election commission was also highlighted. We decided that uh, the political parties will contest all the candidatures in the parliament. To begin with, the speaker of the uh, parliament uh, candidate would be unitedly, uh, uh, it is decided that will be from Pakistan People's Party. The Prime Minister candidate will be from Pakistan Muslim League, uh, Nawaz, and the Deputy Speaker would be from MMA. And I'm now joined live from Islamabad by my colleague Anas Malik. Good afternoon, Anas. What, how do the numbers stack up as we speak? Uh, there's no end to the political drama, it seems, unfolding in Pakistan. Absolutely, Ramesh, you rightly mentioned uh, there's no end to the political drama that is unfolding in Pakistan for about 10 days now. It's been roughly uh, it's almost uh, 10 days since Pakistan uh, went into polls and we're yet to see an official announcement as to which party is will be forming the government. But now, uh, just a while back, the MQM has announced its formal coalition uh, with uh, the Pakistan Tehreek and Saf of Imran Khan. So what we're uh, understanding is that PTI might just be in a position. Uh, the number game is more like that at this point of time, MQM, uh, the, with the MQM joining in the coalition, uh, PTI has 133 members on its side, whereas uh, the other side, whereas uh, uh, the opposition coalition currently stands at 121. So it it, it gets interesting uh, with time uh, with time passes. What we're yet to see is that uh, the critical support of those independent candidates, uh, the 13 independent candidates, as to which uh, side they will be opting for. The PTI claims that uh, they've actually rounded up eight of uh, eight of the independent candidates on their side, but we haven't seen any official announcement as yet. However, we uh, however we did see some ab about four of uh, these 13 uh, did uh, formally go on record and say they have joined PTI, but we're yet to see an official announcement. Uh, of the rest of the these uh, uh, nine candidates out of the 13 uh, but uh, as of now the number game is interesting with keep uh, with keeping in mind that uh, uh, PTI has 116 seats uh, their allies are Awami Muslim League that is, that has one seat BMQM that has six seats uh, the Pakistan Muslim League Qaeda Azam that has four seats uh, they've also went into an, into an alliance with the, the Grand Democratic Alliance from Sindh that was against the Pakistan People's Party uh, which has two seats uh, in the, from from the Sindh province along with the Baluch, Baluchistan Awami party that has four seats as well. So the number currently rounds up to 133. Again, it does not touch that 137 margin. The PTI is roughly four seats short as we speak. Uh, and uh, whereas the opposition parties, uh, if we uh, count down their numbers, uh, there are 64 seats uh, for the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz, the PMLN, uh, 43 seats for the Pakistan People's Party, uh, one seat for the Awami National Party, uh, 13 seats for that uh, MMA, the right wing alliance, of uh, the religious parties and one seat, one seat of the Bami National Party as well. So they figure it rounds up to 121. So all in all, it will be interesting as to which, uh, where uh, and which side does the uh, independent, independent candidates opt for. Yes, Ramesh. Also very quickly, Anas, is there any clarity yet on the date of Imran Khan swearing in? and the people who might be invited for his uh, inauguration. One moment PTI says we'll invite celebrities from in India, in, from including India. The next moment it says, no, that's not true. 
Absolutely, Ramesh. There hasn't been any uh, uh, clarity as yet on the date of that swearing-in ceremony of uh, Imran Khan, the probable Prime Minister of Pakistan. But what, what we're ac expecting and picking up from our sources in the government is that uh, that would be done, done by the 12th of August, considering the fact that if uh, uh, all of the formalities are done by the Election Commission of Pakistan by the 10th of August, they, they, now they are to start issuing notification of the winning candidates from tomorrow. That process will go on till the, the, the 6th of August. Uh, from then onwards, the, uh, based on the, uh, these winning notifications, uh, till the 9th, they will start issuing notifications of the reserve seats and uh, the minority candidates of, uh, uh, of the winning parties. Uh, on 10th, by or by the 10th, uh, they will then issue the formal accumulated and final accumulated count of the party positions in the National Assembly. Uh, that would be the, 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 the new come of the newcomers. On 11th, if, if only these things as they go as per plan, then on the 11th, uh, the Assembly is likely to be formally convened, uh, when, where, they will, where the new member of the Parliament will take oath. Uh, they will ele elect the Speaker, and if only the Speaker is elected and things go according to the plan, then on the same date, the Prime Minister, the Leader of the House, will be elected as well. Uh, and if only on the 11th, if the Leader House of the House is elected, then uh, Imran Khan is likely to take oath on right. 12th or the 13th. So a lot of ifs and buts we're seeing, uh, considering the fact that uh, the ongoing scenario, it all depends upon the ongoing scenario and how things shape up and the fact that how right. uh, how the Election Commission of Pakistan is able to keep up with its ongoing and current deadlines. Yes, Ramesh. Indeed. Anas Malik in Islamabad, thank you so much for joining me on Beyond Dispatch.